Good evening, everyone, family and friends of South Leeds Parish Church. It is the night before Christmas. All the frenzy and the shopping are almost over because tomorrow is Christmas. Tonight, we are expecting the birth of Jesus Christ, not Santa through the chimney. And I am super excited and really pleased that we can bring this service to you from our beautiful church sanctuary. And I am grateful to Brian, to Mick, to John, to Ian Jr. and Anne for joining me in taking this service tonight. And now I invite you, let us come into God's presence with thanksgiving in our hearts. Let us come into God's courts with praise. For this is the day that the Lord has made. It is a day of hope but also a day of joy and peace. Let us worship God. Let us sing to God's glory the hymn CH4315, Once in Royal David's City. Once in Royal David's City Stood a lonely cattle shed Where Let us pray. Lord God, thank you that you have become a human being in Jesus. Thank you for the care and the concern that you have shown for us by becoming one of us. Thank you for giving us the example of how you want us to live in Jesus. And thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to give us the power to live like that. Father, later on we're going to be singing, O come all ye faithful. Please help us to be faithful to you, to live the way that you want us to see, to, want us to live, the way that Jesus lived. Thank you. Thank you that, that you can help us live that way through the Holy Spirit. So please help us to do that, and in particular, to use all the gifts that you've given us to make for a fairer distribution of your gifts to all people in this world. Jesus, we've just sung that when you were here, you lived among the poor. 
And we, and we also know that you came to bring good news to the poor. So we think now of people that we know who are struggling just now. People struggling with increased prices for food and, and energy. People struggling because of insecurity and uncertainty about their jobs and their work. And people struggling with physical and mental health. In a moment of silence now, we name before you these people we know who are struggling. May they know that you are living with them and that you're working to bring them good news. And show us what we can do to change the way we live and to change, to change the way this country is run to bring about that good news. Holy Spirit, we're also going to be singing that, that hymn, Still the Night, and the line, Love is sh shining from thy face, strikes for us now the hour of grace. We thank you for that wonderful grace, that unconditional kindness that you have shown us. Thank you for making it possible for us to experience your kindness. And as we head now into a new day, please forgive what we have been, correct what we are, and direct what we will be. Lord God, thank you that you hear and answer all our prayers, spoken and silent. Where possible, help us to be part of your answer as your children in the power of your Holy Spirit and reflecting your character as we see it in Jesus. Amen. Let's now sing together the hymn 316, Love Came Down at Christmas. A poem killed from Alternativity Christian Resource. Welcome to the world, my child. Welcome to the world, my child. A world that doesn't always have room for those who knock at the door. A world with mansions for some 
and overcrowded camps, tin shacks, and hostels for too many. Welcome to the world, my child, a world where geography dictates a person's health and wealth, a world where the color of your skin, your accent, your income, or connections will open or closely close doors. But you, child, you have not come to fit into what is. You have come to surprise us with an upside down alternative, a way of being in which all are made new and love rolls off his sleeves and dirties his hands in the messy lives of those who are broken and mourning, swept aside and overlooked. Child, you are one of us and you are more than us. An outsider come right in to bring everyone in with you. Last week Friday, the Leith Academy had their Christmas service, which was live streamed here in the sanctuary. The full service, of course, is on the website, but I thought that I could share the rendition by the school jazz band on Jingle Bell Rock. reading is taken from Luke chapter 2 verses 8 to 19 the shepherds and the angels there were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending the night in the fields taking care of their flocks an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terribly afraid, but the angel said to them, don't be afraid. I am here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all the people. This very day in David's town, your savior was born, Christ the Lord. And this is what will prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great army of heaven's angels appeared with the angel, 
singing praises to God. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in the manger. When the shepherds saw him, they told them what the angel had said about the child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said. Mary remembered all these things and thought deeply about them. We'll now sing again hymn 309, Still the Night, Holy the Night. Love came down at Christmas. We heard that carol being sung earlier on in the service, and maybe you at home were joining in. I hope you were. And surely this is at the very heart of what Christmas is all about. Love came down at Christmas, beginning with the love of two women for their children, Elizabeth with her cherished child, born in old age, Mary with her new hopes and dreams, born of a a meeting between an angel and a young girl, hardly more than a child herself. Love came down at Christmas in the hearts of an old woman and a young girl. Together they recognized the wonder of the God who uses them the barren one, the untried girl, to overturn the powers that be. With their hard eyes and their harsh judgments, 
their respect for wealth, their contempt for the poor. Love came down at Christmas in the lives of two women, the clear-eyed love that says, yes, I will do what you ask of me, the understanding love that recognizes the life of God in the pregnant teenager and greets her with joy. Today, God of love, we remember the stories of all the people who met your love at Bethlehem and recognized your presence among ordinary people. We remember the ones who said yes to God, Mary who bore him, Joseph who loved her and her child, the ones who recognized need and offered shelter, the ones who understood the importance of the time and went to look for the baby in the manger, the ones who traveled in the starlight looking for a king, God of yesterday, today, and forever, help us to see ourselves as we hear their stories. Show us how to say yes to you, whatever it may cost. Help us to recognize your life in the weak and the vulnerable ones that we meet day after day. Teach us to look for you where you are to be found, among the ordinary folk, taking shelter with the the refugee, seeking asylum with the displaced ones. Love does come down at Christmas, come, not came, for it's not just an event in history. When the world was dark and the city was quiet, you came. You crept in beside us, and no one knew, only the few who dared to believe that God might do something different. Will you do the same this Christmas, Lord? Will you come into the darkness of today's world, not the friendly darkness, as when sleep rescues us from tiredness, but the fearful darkness in which people have stopped believing that war will end, or that food will come, or that a government will change, or that the church cares. Will you come into that darkness and do something different to save your people from death And despair? Will you come into the quietness of this city? Not the friendly quietness, as when lovers hold hands, but the fearful silence, when the phone has not rung, the letter has not come, the friendly voice no longer speaks, and the doctor's face says it all. Will you come into that darkness and do something different? Not to distract, but to embrace your people. And will you come into the dark corners and the quiet places of our lives? We ask this not because we are guilt-ridden or want to be, but because the fullness our lives long for depends on us being as open and vulnerable to you as you were to us when you came, wearing no more than nappies, trusting human hands to hold their maker. Will you come into our lives if we open them to you and do something different? When the world was dark and the city was quiet, you came You crept in beside us. Do the same this Christmas, Lord. Do the same this Christmas. The 
Christmas story involves a lot of traveling. Mary and Joseph traveling to Bethlehem, the wise men following the star, Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus fleeing to Egypt. For us to follow and to say yes to God's call, we too will need to travel on quite a distance. When hope invites us to journey, elusive, beckoning onward, but never in our grasp, God of wisdom and promise, give us courage to travel on. When dreams glimmer in the distance, fading, clouded, and hidden, or shining with new brightness, God of wisdom and promise, Give us courage to travel on. When established patterns collapse into the uncertainty of the unknown and security dissolves into a memory, God of wisdom and promise, give us courage to travel on. When the illusion of success threatens to divert us and silence our soul's yearning. God of wisdom and promise, give us courage to travel on. When we think our journey has ended in the starlit glow, only to find the end is a new beginning. God of wisdom and promise, give us courage to travel on. We face many changes and challenges in our world and in the church just now, more so than for many years. We need Emmanuel, God with us. We need the love that comes down at Christmas. And may God bless you all this Christmas and in all your journeying with Jesus Christ, the Saviour, of the world. Jesse will now light the Christmas candle. The Christmas candle is lit. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. We sing together the hymn, O come, all ye faithful.
Love come down at Christmas. Love comes down every day, in dark winter nights and bright summer days. Love comes down every day, in our dark times and our happy times. Love comes down. And today, love has come down. So let us go rejoicing, for Jesus is born. Let us go celebrating Jesus' birthday in thanksgiving. And let us receive the peace, the hope, and the love that Jesus brings. Let us share these gifts with all around us, now and forevermore. Amen. Merry Christmas again. Thank you.